All right, we're all a little self-conscious about the way we look, and it's hard to be happy if you have a bad body image. Lynn Brown met one man who says surgery made all the difference. <laughs> Summertime is right around the corner. Hitting the beach is definitely on the list of things to do. <laughs> I would go to the beach, but I would leave a shirt on. Yeah. You would leave a shirt, and you would swim in a shirt? I would swim in a shirt. And this is the reason why. George's breasts were so large, he was embarrassed. It is a condition known as gynecomastia, and a lot of men have it. How bad was it? It was very bad. I mean, uh, I look like a woman. But in today's world of nip and tuck, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Are you having any problems? No, not at all. So George decided to have breast reduction. A small incision is made right around the nipple, and through that, the uh, instruments that we use for liposuction, the cannulas, are inserted, and the fatty tissue and breast tissue is removed. For George, the surgery was miraculous. It was kind of unbelievable, and uh, I was just wondering, like, God, I can't believe I'm not going to have this anymore. You know, it's going to be so different. So I was looking forward to it. Uh, it was a little painful at first, but uh, within a week, uh, I was back to normal. After the surgery, he had to wear a compressor vest. It helps in the healing process. But the burning question is whether his big breasts are gone forever. Not all of the breast tissue and fatty tissue is removed because you need some of it between the muscle and the skin. Mm -hmm. But it's very unlikely, if, if the majority of it is removed, that this will recur. It's been six weeks since George's surgery, and the difference is startling. He can head for the beach now and not worry about breasts. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm Lynn Brown, Fox News. More and more men are getting all types of plastic surgery these days, breast reductions included.